Hi guys, I'm going to show you today how to do a number of the day. So each day you're going to get a different number. It could be a thousands number or if you feel more comfortable it could just be a hundreds number. And this is what we're hoping that you'll be able to do. You might need a little bit of help in the beginning, but that's fine. So the first number, the number of today is 1,356. And the first thing we need to have a look at, is it odd or even? So I'm going to look at the last number and I know that six is an even number because I can break it into two even groups. So the number 1,356 is an even number. So I'd write the word even in there. This box here says sum of the digits. That means add each digit together. So it would be, 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 6. And I know 5 plus 5 is 10, so 5 plus 6 would be 11, and 1 plus 3 is 4. So I would have 15 all together. So I'm going to put that answer down the bottom. Okay, now my job's still on this same number, so everything we do is based on this number. So now I need to write it in words and my number is 1,356, that's what I'm going to write. 1,000. Now I've written it exactly the way I would say it. Make the number using coins and notes. So I'm going to have a think and a thousand number, it's a big number. So I'm going to start with my biggest note that I can use and that's a $100 note. So I know that 10 100s will make 1,000. So I need to draw 10 $1 notes. One. So now I'm showing 1,300. I still have 56. So I'm going to put a $50 note. And I need $6. I'm going to use a $2 coin, $2 coin, and two $1 coins. So I've got 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1,000. 1,000 and 1,100, 1,200, 1,300 and 50, 2, 4, 5, 6. Yep, that's the number. Now this one here, tally marks. You would be going for a long time with the thousands number. So I think, and you can do a thousand number if you want, I'm just going to do the 300 number. Gee, do I have enough room there? I don't know. I don't think so, but I'm going to give it a go. So I go one, two, three, four, five, five, 50, 55. Today I'm going to just do 56 because we can't fit too many more. But what I'm also going to do is just write next to it 56. If you have a spare piece of paper at home and you want to do 1,356 tally marks, you can do that if you want. So now I need to write a sum that equals my number. So I know my answer will have to be 1,356. Hmm, I might do 1,000 plus 300 plus 56. But you could do so many different options. You could do 1,256 plus 100. You could do 500 plus 500 plus 356. You could do so many different things. Okay, now I need to add and subtract from this number. So 10 more is 1,366. 10 less than 1,356, remember we always come back to this number, would be 1,346. Okay, 100 more, so I look at my hundreds column, it would be 1,456. 
hundred less. I still look at my hundreds column, so it would be 1,256. And oh my goodness, 1,000 more. I have a look in my thousands column. So it would be 2,356. And 1,000 less would be 356. All right, now we need to have a look at the greater than and less than. So what I'm going to do is put, hmm, I might put my number in the middle, 1,356, and on this side, I know that this is a greater than symbol because remember a crocodile's jaws, it wants to eat the bigger number, okay? So this will be the bigger number, greater than. And I could write any number I wanted, but I might choose 2,300. And 56. On this side, we know we're pointing to the smaller end because it comes to a little point over here, and those crocodile jaws are pointing to the bigger number still. So I might choose 37. It could be any number that is less than 1,356. Down the bottom, I'm just going to write my number. I have one thousands. I have three hundreds. I have five tens and I have six ones. So there you go, boys and girls. That's what we hope you can do for our number of the day. And you will have a, um, a tens number, a hundreds number and a thousands number to choose from. And if you want to challenge yourself, you could even do a 10,000 number. See you later.